Hey from Michael Strong here. In this video, I'm going to build a text effect or a text review all the way from scratch. It's a effect that I thought of uh, using text tracking or like the tracking effect uh, for text, which means that the space between the letters actually increases. And I want to do a review where it's actually already increased like quite a lot and then decreases to the normal text. So first we're going to make a new text. So use the T tool or press T on your keyboard and we're going to type in text tracking and we're going to move this to the center and now we're going to text effects control and here on the bottom here we have this text tracking so what I want to have it done is to move in like to animate it like this. However, there is an issue with this. So let's uh, actually look at the text source here. So the only toggle animation or keyframe is this we will actually activate everything here. So there isn't really like that it's animate from one point to the other point. So if I just put a keyframe here and I move this timeline and I'm going to change this to the full max and we move the timeline between the two it will just jump it will not animate it so to animate it there is a trick uh, not really a real trick we're just going to add tons of keyframes ourselves so what we're going to do is also to keyframe it to have it like it at a certain speed. So we're doing it like a more exponential speed. So instead of uh, yeah, it being from a uh, thousand to like instead of like thousand and then minus hundred minus hundred minus hundred, we're going to do it more exponentially. So we're going to from thousand so let's do it in ten steps so I'm going to go to the first part and hold down shift and then arrow right twice to jump ten frames and move it over here so exponentially we need to calculate a little bit so we don't want it to move in super fast Oh, actually, we're going to change the location. So we want it to go to normal. So from this white to this normal. So we're going to press keyboard arrow left one step. And we're going to change this to, I think, just one. Actually, change this to two and then arrow once again this two five ten twenty Then forty, eighty, one sixty, three twenty, and then six forty. So if we're now going to play this, we see like a quite nice animation. So this is the result and I have to say it looks quite nice. The only downside is if I need to change anything of this text, uh, yeah, you need to change it at every keyframe because this uh, yeah, toggle animation actually covers all these. So if I go to like the last one here and I change this to a white color 
if I move this back, it becomes yellow again. So that is a downside with this text animation style or how to animate this. Um, it'd be cool if like Adobe could make them more interchangeable because I was thinking doing more of these, uh, yeah, these kind of settings to animate text, but, uh, yeah, you do need to do every keyframe yourself instead of that. It automates it, but it's not that much of an issue. You do just need to do a calculation of like, uh, how to do an exponential increase or decrease. So you can also do the text, uh, style a little bit different so this is of course going to the left side so we want to make one instead of going left we want it to be in the middle actually do type another new one so we're going to type here middle tracking okay let's change this to Normal again, change this to zero. And we're going to move this text into the middle and uh, actually use center align text first. And we're moving this in the middle. What is going to change instead of that it tracks to one side, it will tracks from the, to the middle. So basically it will do this so I'm going to show you so it's going to move it out and then back to in so that is like a cool actually quite a lot of movies use this kind of like uh, intro text or intro of the title so also pretty much the same so we're first going to start at 1000 so pretty much we're going to use the same parameters. So 1000 and let's toggle animation here also and go to the next keyframe 640 320 160 80, 40, 20, 10, 5, 2, and then finally 0. So now when we play this, we get this effect. So it's quite nice, um, yeah, text review. However, yeah, you do need to manually type in these uh, parameters. I will have these parameters also in the description below. So I hope you guys find this quite interesting. Uh, yeah, quite an interesting way of animating your text. So now we have a review. So now also make one that, uh, yeah, it's a, the opposite and we're going to just do it also manually. So here I go to here, go thousand, then one frame left, 640, 320, 160. 80, 0 is already there so now playing the review and it's going out so quite a nice 
simple transition you can do and yeah the only downside is that you need to keyframe every frame but it's 10 frames so it's not that uh, it's not that many and it's quite easy uh, yeah numbers that you can remember and uh, yeah you could do a different number scale but personally I found this uh, to be quite useful or quite easy to remember because it's just uh, times two times two times two until the last one it's uh, not really times two but yeah i can't really do a bigger scale than that so that was mainly it and if you are new here please hit that subscribe button here below and i'll see you guys the next time bye bye